Oh, well, hey, I didn't see you there. But hey, I'm EJ, you're you, welcome to my channel. First off, I just want to say a big ol' hello and thank you to subscribing for all of the new friends on this channel. It's great to have you all here. But let's get into this. We're going to continue the island redesign by building a second villager area. Wow, wow. I'm trying something a little bit different with this video as well, and I'm going to show you guys a little bit less of the destruction. I figure that people coming for a speed build want to see more building and less destroying. So that's why this video is a little bit shorter. But, you know, let me know. Do you miss seeing the destruction? Do you want to see me tear down? things let me know in the comment box I want to make sure you know I'm entertaining for y'all but with that being said why don't you go ahead and pummel that subscribe button sucker punch the like button and drop kick a comment into that comic box and uh enjoy All right, so this is the area that we are going to be turning into our second villager area. Used to be a farm and spooky maze, but now it's going to be homes. Nothing bad has ever happened from anyone, you know, building houses on a graveyard, right? This entire area is going to get destroyed. Oh boy, but... Two hours later. Just like that, it's done. It's gone. Well, it's not all gone. So first things first, we're going to get rid of this little river, we're going to fill her in. We're going to turn this area into a kind of a lake, river area, fishing, fishing area too. So first thing I'm doing is just kind of outlining the rivers. I always find it easier and best to just kind of like make an outline first and then shade it in, fill it in later. I think it just makes you, it's just so much easier to figure out what the shape you want to go for is if you do it first like that. And it's so much easier because you don't have to like commit to it. I'm also going to make a little dock. So that's what this two block section going down is. We're going to put a custom design pattern on it to make it look like it's really, you know, a fishing dock. Extending the cliffs out from behind the museum and that is going to make a waterfall that goes down into the lake and it's going to be also the start of the mountain that's going to be at the center of this, this famous mountain that you will shortly see. I like the idea of the museum being built into the mountain, so that's a cute one. Just like that, wow, we're almost done. I am just so quick at this terraforming, huh? I'm not, I just I just cut out the boring parts. Rounding out the cliff edges, which, oof, it's just really fun. I really love rounding out the cliff edges. I think it just looks so nice, so good, and just so satisfying. And now we gotta keep building out the lake, but I'm gonna have a couple reservations about that, change some ideas, you know, it's gonna be fun. I truly cannot remember why I redid that and then destroyed it again, but I assume I was just being indecisive. I don't know. I can't remember most of what I say. And now through the magic of custom designs, we're going to turn this piece of land into a dock. This is the creator code for it. Check it out. They have a bunch of different colors and orientations, so definitely a good design. One hour later. And boom. Now there's more destruction done and we're going to start building out the waterfalls. I'm not going to build this section out too much. I'm not totally sure what I want to go behind uh, the museum. I think that's going to be a later video, the museum design. And I don't have too many ideas for that, so if you have any ideas for things that I could do in front of my museum, let me know in the comment box. I'd love to hear them. We can build this thing together. Now, this is the next day I, I did go to sleep. So now this is a look at the map. Look at how empty that area is. But really I'm using this uh, as a way to kind of plan out exactly where the houses are gonna go and make sure I have a real sense of, you know, where on the island I am. I have a really bad <laughs> sense of direction in real life. And also in this game, I have no idea where I am sometimes. So it just helps me to kind of look at the map every now and then. And by putting down these uh, in-game paths, it actually makes it so that I can see 
uh, on the map where everything is. Helps with the planning, you know? And now laying down the boxes to, to see exactly where I want to put the houses, you know. There's going to be four houses back here. Um, and I decided kind of halfway through that I wanted to mimic the pathway that the island itself is going to have, that kind of uh, clockwise swirl pattern, and I kind of wanted to mimic that in this village area. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Bam! All the houses are moved. Wow, that was so fast. Tom Nook, man, really stepping it up. Now I'm going to build out the cliffs here. I want to have the cliffs, uh, the mountain, come right up against all of the villager houses. I stretched it out, and then I'm going to try and make it look a little more natural, and not just like a you know straight line of cliffs, by building it out in some areas and building it in uh, and, go and going in in some areas. Now we're starting to lay in the paths. Of course, I always start by just kind of putting the outline, putting where I know path is going to go, and then filling in the spaces in between figure out the flow. Laying down some trees, I do want to make it so that you can't actually pass through and like cut through to where Gonzo's house is, that's the log house because I want to make sure that I'm forcing you to go on this spiral. You will take this path. I work so hard laying it down. How dare you? This is also going to lead into the farm area, which, spoiler alert, is going to be the next video. a little bit you can see that I put the edges around so I can pop this tree into that section I did something similar in the plaza build um, I really like doing those little circles in the middle of the pads I think they look so cool You know, I'm trying to build out uh, yards for all of the villagers that are in this section uh, so that they have a little cute little space to call their own, you know? I also debated putting another tree down here, but I thought that it would just, you know, it looked kind of silly to have it repeated so close to each other. I try to space out similar elements because I think it makes it look a little bit more natural. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Again, I really don't go into these builds with much of a plan. Like, I have a general idea, like, oh, this will be this section, you know? But other than that, it really is just winging it. So I always do, it's sometimes hard when I'm filming these things because I want to make sure, I want to look decisive. I don't want to just be standing around a lot, but I really do a lot of just sitting there looking at the game being like, okay, what do I do next? But now that we have all of the paths laid down and trees kind of put up, we're starting to get into the details. We have the broad strokes, let's work on the details. And that's putting down shrubs, putting down flowers, and putting down all of the furniture. So now I am, I am kind of as with the previous villager sections, I'm really just translating uh, and adjusting the previous villager yards that I had into this compact space. I think it, it, it does present a unique challenge in just like seeing how much furniture I can fit in and how can I convey the idea of what their island or of what their yard is in the least amount of pieces of furniture possible. <laughs> there was probably a quicker way to uh, express that idea, but who knows? So Gonzo gets, you know, the woodworking area. He only has 
He has a lot less stuff than before. And he has the pink flowers. Diana, who's the first villager house I worked on, she has a bath area in, like she has like a bath inside of her uh, house. So I figured that she loves the spa. So I gave her a little relaxing zen area right by the lake. This is Ursula's house. If you've seen my last video, you know that Ursula's no longer here. So this yard very quickly will change. She actually asked me about this right after I finished designing her yard and I was like, wow, okay, I guess you hated it so much that that's where you went. Wow, Ursula. Putting down fences around, putting down some last shrubs and flowers. We're getting really down to it. And there's a few more things that I'm probably gonna do off camera um, before the last walkthrough, but I'm very excited. We're almost done. And later. There, we're done. We did it. It's it's done built. So Ursula's gone, Mod is here, I, so I transitioned his, her hammock into this other bench thing. I also tucked away these clotheslines in a couple places. I think it adds like a nice depth, a couple layers. I also used some pumpkins in here and tucked those in. I think it's a great way to transition all of those pumpkins that I had from the Halloween season into the winter season. Um, so I think it just adds a nice little texture. It's not a bush, it's not a tree, it's a pumpkin. Diana has her spa zen area. Gonzo has his woodwork and it's cute. We have the dock. I'm really happy with how this place turned out, honestly. I, I really like this villager area. I think it's my favorite villager area. Um, Cause like, look at this. Just look at the, look at the views, man. But yeah, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more and I'll see you at the next one. Bye all.